Our top focus at this hour, India keeps up its tradition of contributing to the United Nations peacekeeping missions. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has appointed India's Lieutenant General Mohan Subramaniam as a commander of the UN peacekeeping force in South Sudan, the country which is still under the impact of its civil war that began in 2013. Lieutenant General Subramanian is now succeeding Lieutenant General Ashailesh Tenaikar as a force commander of the UN mission in South Sudan. He has a distinguished military career with the Indian Army spanning over 36 years and is currently serving as a commandant of Defence Services Staff College. Earlier, he served as a general officer commanding military region, operation and logistic readiness zone in central India contributing to the Army's operational and logistical preparedness. Prior to that, Lieutenant General Subramanian served as the additional Director General for Procurement and Equipment Management at the Integrated Headquarters of the Ministry of Defence and the General Officer commanding a Strike Infantry Division, among other appointments within the Indian Armed Forces. He has also served as India's Defence Attaché to Vietnam, Laos and Cambodia between 2008 and 2012 and as a staff officer with the United Nations mission in Sierra Leone in 2000. The mission set up in 2011 has 17,982 personnel in total. India is the second largest troop contributing country to the UN peacekeeping missions. With more than 2,300 Indian military personnel deployed, the Security Council created the UN mission in South Sudan to consolidate peace and security and later extended the mandate to protect civilians and help human rights monitoring and the provision of humanitarian aid. And for more details on this news development, our correspondent Patrick Oet is now joining us live from Juba in South Sudan. Thanks so much, Patrick, for joining us. My question to you, UN Secretary General Guterres has appointed India's Lieutenant General Mohan Subramaniam for, to lead the UN peacekeeping force. Tell us about the challenges ahead and what this appointment essentially means for the relations between South Sudan and India. Yeah, there are, there are a lot of uh, challenges that means actually for the new U uh, UN or UNMIS force commander, there's a lot of work that he has to oversee uh, being done. One of the things that first of all the Indian battalion is doing very well in the UN uh, 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 peacekeeping mission is of course uh, providing health facilities. They are the ones running most of the health facilities in the UN uh, uh, facilities. Uh, they are also involved in uh, protecting civilians, especially because there's a lot of intercommunal violence in South Sudan, uh, one community attacking another community because of the problem of uh, cattle uh, raiding. Uh, not only that, also you have revenge attacks that are there. So the peacekeepers are there to ensure that, you know, uh, this intercommunal violence is, is stopped, so they are doing this. They are also helping in terms of making sure that the environment is conducive enough for, uh, for humanitarian aid to be delivered to those in need because uh, so many people in this country need humanitarian aid. For example, right. the UN is saying uh, more than 7 million out of the 12 million population is in need of food assistance. So yeah, so that is another challenge that the UN peacekeeping mission has to actually, you know, uh, see that it is addressed. And of course, also to note that India has the second largest uh, number of troops in the country uh, that is after after Rwanda and now also of course there is the implementation of the peace deal which is uh, being overseen also by by the UN uh, they are monitoring the implementation and making sure that uh, violations of, of human rights are also recorded and if possible stopped so those are some of the things that the troops are doing and really is, is a very big task especially for a country like South Sudan Right, Patrick, thank you so much for all those updates. Thanks for joining us on Beyond World is One at this hour. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.